So you might have heard that over 40% of American adults are considered obese. And a recent study showed that obesity is linked to a high protein diet and the results are shocking. I made that up, but wait. I did a quick Google search and it turns out that it might in fact be true. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Anthony. I help guys like you build a lean, muscular body, doing less so you can focus on life. All right, back to the video. So what exactly is a high protein diet and why is it so popular? You might have seen a handful of high protein meal prep videos and perhaps you've heard the numbers 1.2, 1, maybe 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. And bodybuilders swear by this and at this stage, it might as well be whatever you want. Blender raw chicken breast for brekkie. It does help if you cut it up first, I'm being lazy. Or down a can of chickpeas, you do you. And everyone seems to have an opinion, like one reel I posted with 50k views. How much protein do you really need to build muscle? Titled, this will destroy the fitness industry. And one comment was like, you only need 0.6 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. But it's like, shut the f And it's like they really know me, but let's be real for a sec. If someone asked me how much protein they need per day, a better question would be, what are your goals and how often do you get to the gym? And depending on your answer, it probably doesn't matter how much protein you actually need. What I mean is if you're not getting the results you want, you're not building muscle, you can't progress, the weight just feels heavy week after week, or you struggle to lose fat and actually keep it off even though you're getting enough protein, then you're focusing on the wrong thing. That's not even the problem. In fact, I'm more concerned about guys starting out at the gym, they're focusing on what supplements to take rather than actually putting in the work, putting in the reps. And I think you'd be concerned too if you knew what I was about to say. It's actually a bigger problem than most think. And most fitness YouTubers will never talk about this because they simply want to sell their supplements and make a sale. And really protein powder was designed for bodybuilders who compete and athletes because most of us work out for health and lifestyle reasons. We don't need to optimize every little thing. And so we get sold this idea that without high protein diets that we're never going to build muscle or look jacked. But what I'm really trying to say is focusing on a high protein diet or getting enough protein when you're struggling to even get to the gym consistently is like trying to design a skyscraper on your first day at architecture school. What? Or like watching videos on how to scale to a million dollars before you even know what you want to sell. And so by focusing on protein without building the right habits to build muscle and lose fat. <sighs> I feel bad saying this, but I feel like you really need to hear this. By focusing on protein rather than consistency, you continue to strengthen the habit of doing what's easy. And funnily enough, it's not really your fault. You see, if you found it hard to create the change that you wanted to in your life, whether it's sticking to your gym schedule, eating healthy or sleeping early, chances are you're not to blame. It actually stems back to your childhood. Remember that time you got your first phone or always had sweets within arm's reach? Or every time you got that toy that you wanted for Christmas? Everything came easy and it was like all about the shiny objects and the cool toys and so you weren't taught to put in the reps. You were fed this reality where you could be happy getting whatever it is that you wanted whenever you wanted and that's where I think most guys fall short. Not short like me, but in today's society we're conditioned to do what's easy and avoid what's hard. But nine times out of 10, easy is not the solution. Easy will only get you so far. Easy makes you average. So here's the solution. No, it's not to take a pill or powder or download the next best fitness app or get a trainer. Because if you look at the top 1% of guys who have a really good physique, one that you look up to, you know well and truly that they're not taking a fat loss pill or ordering Jenny Craig meal plans. They're constantly getting at the root cause. Otherwise, it's like trying to fix a relationship by going on more dates when the problem is miscommunication. Did you get that? That was really crucial information and I really need you to understand this. If you want to transform one time over, listen closely. Imagine if you have a weed plant those pesty plants, not the ones you smoke. If you try to get rid of it by just cutting it above the ground, it's gonna grow back. But if you pull it out from the root, it's like Jesus, you're never gonna see him again. And so if you're constantly getting at the surface of the problem, the problem of not being able to build muscle and lose fat, 
then it'll continue to grow back week after week, year after year. And it's far more concerning than you think. Imagine you have an overeating problem and you try to balance that out with a fat loss shake or restricting your diet. Are you then getting at the root cause or the surface of the problem? You see, the root cause is not eating too much. Because if you look a little deeper, there's actually more to it. There's stress, fear, anxiety, and you can go deeper than that. Figure out what's actually causing that. And eventually you'll get to the root cause. You must attack the root of the problem. And so here's the problem with high protein diets. In a nutshell, first of all, protein is not the problem. The problem is your ability to do these three things. Work out consistently, change your old eating habits, say no to your friends, to getting takeout five times a week, partying every weekend, and without doing these things, you'll never actually build a lean muscular body. Like you never, you'll never transform, and it's the same with anything you do. If you're used to starting and stopping and never improving on anything, then you get to a point where average becomes the norm. Normal physique, normal job, you'd be like 99% of guys. And if that's who you want to be, no one's judging you. And it's why the 1% are constantly heads down working on themselves, doing what 99% of guys won't do. And so I'm not here to convert you to being average. The thing is most guys don't have the right habits to begin with. And it's why you rarely see a guy with good definition or six pack abs. And so to simplify the three points I mentioned earlier, you need to have three things in check, exercise, diet, and mindset. And you can start on any of these things, but if your exercise and mindset is good, but your diet sucks balls, you may be able to achieve a lean physique, but you definitely won't be able to keep it. And so this brings us back to my original point, focusing on a high protein diet, and as a beginner to intermediate, you're only getting sidetracked from doing the real work. The real work meaning getting to the gym consistently, you know, fueling your body with mostly whole foods. That's number two. You're getting sidetracked by taking effective action and by telling yourself you need to get there fast, falling for the high protein diet trap. You're only setting yourself up to continue doing what's easy and becoming and staying average. But now that I've gotten that off my chest, you might still be wondering how much protein you really need. According to an article from Harvard Health, you only need 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, and that's the minimum to avoid getting sick, without taking into account exercise. And I suggest that as a baseline. Any more than that, you're winning. And I get it, you might be worried about losing muscle, not getting enough protein. But here's three key steps that help me transform my body over the past 10 years without really focusing on getting enough protein. And I wish I knew this sooner. Eat a mostly whole foods diet. Number one, you have a higher, more steady energy level throughout the day. Number two, work out consistently and make sure it's sustainable because you'd wanna do this for the next 10 years, if not for the rest of your life. Improve your numbers, number three, in the gym over time and then results will come. And if you're still skeptical about getting enough protein, you're not gonna die, trust me. If you wanna know more about how to actually transform, check out my last video somewhere on the screen, how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Anyways, that's it from me. If you want the exact workout program that I do for max gains in less time, click the link below. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you did like this video, do me a favor, do me a, do me a favor, do me a favor and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Have an amazing day.